animals, they're losing too fast their habitats and that is creating a lot of problematics for them, for reproduction, feeding, and we are even seeing genetic problems now on species because they are isolated and they can't reproduce with wider individuals. We are trying to recover the habitat that was lost to be able to move safely from one place to another. Hi, my name is Francisco Rodriguez. I work for the Slot Conservation Foundation and here I am the manager of a project called Connected Gardens. Uh, this project, what we do is uh, we do reforestation as much as we can and we also build bridges for wildlife that live in trees so they can go from one place to another uh, safely in places where there is no more connection. So we came here to this nice property in the South Caribbean of Costa Rica in a little small town growing called Playa Negra and here the, the owners of this property called us because they've seen how some animals have been having troubles as monkeys and the slugs. So we're gonna do two things in this property. We're gonna place a couple of uh, wildlife bridges or slot crossings as we call them, but we're not gonna do that today. Today we came to make a small planting of 11 trees that we're gonna plant here. Some medium-sized trees and others uh, big enough to reach to the highest part of the canopy. There's a variety of trees between fruit trees and other trees that give shelter are also food because of the leaves to different animals. We have papaya, avocado, cecropia or guarumo that is one of the favorite leaves for the slug. So it's a mix of medicine, food, shelter for, for the animals and for humans too. We wanted to have as many trees as possible for the animals and also for us for shade and we love trees, it looks so nice and so we called because we, uh, a storm broke a lot of trees and we cut them and we wanted to have new trees so the animals can cross our property and can live here. Because <laughs> did you see any animals having problems? Yes, we, we watched uh, the monkeys have problems to, to cross over here because one big branch broke down during a storm and so we wanted to have uh, to help them cross again. Yeah. Normally how it works is that we are called by neighbors here. They know us, they know our organization, they know what we work for. So every time they see animals struggling, like monkeys going in the ground or slots going in the ground or using power lines, they let us know so we can come and check on their properties or the place where there's a problematic. And then we decide what is the best solution for that problematic. If it's building a bridge, then we go and we build a bridge. Or if it's reforestation, sometimes it's not possible to build a bridge because there's not enough trees where we can tie the ropes. So we plant trees there. Sometimes we make boats, sometimes we build the bridge because it's the immediate solution, but at the same time we are planting trees below the, the bridge, so eventually the connection will be a natural connection. Uh, and everything we do is for free, so we really have like a good, uh, normally, acceptance from the people here. So this is our plant nursery. Here we are constantly uh, recovering seeds from the ecosystems, bringing them here, taking care of them, and we're constantly through, throughout all the year growing and growing and growing many trees. They're all native. We have here a combination of trees that are for more targeting to give shelter to the wildlife and others to give food. Some are food and shelter as well. So we have different species, some of them are even medicine for us, for, for humans, so it's the way that we also get a lot of acceptance from people, not only offering them trees for the wildlife, but also trees that will give people food and will give them medicine. So this tree I'm holding is a cacao tree, which is a very important tree here for the cultures, the local cultures. It's been used for uh, by indigenous people for thousands of years and there is a whole history behind it and it also is very important for the wildlife. Uh, for example, the three-finger slot loves this tree 
and also uh, even though the slugs mainly eat leaves they also eat fruit sometimes and they like the cacao fruit when it's small they love it and they eat it and we've seen this behavior here so we are also trying to plant a lot of these trees that's just one of the examples of the trees that we grow and how important they are not only for one purpose but for many purposes our goals or the goal of our project the connected gardens is mainly plant as much trees as possible so right now we have year goals we are uh, trying to plant at least 2,000 trees per year we are still a small team we have our own nursery which is small but is enough to achieve these goals but I would really like to double the size of our nursery maybe double the uh, quantity of people that work in our project so we can double also the amount of trees we can plant per year I think that we could arrive to uh, maybe a rate of 5,000 trees per year, that would be amazing.